What is going on, guys? Today we are going to be looking at the June 17th blog post that Jagex has just released. It is on the third, pli third party client's update. This is a pretty big deal, so I decided why not record it at the start of the stream today. Check out what they have to show for us. I already saw some of the things on my phone today while I was at work, but I didn't really dive into it too much. I just know that there is an official statement. And uh, here we go. Let's see what let's see what Jags has to say. And then on top of it, Runelite has also released a little update today to go with this uh, blog post. So let's go over it. So, so what's next today? We're gonna skip through this a little bit. It's just talking about big improvements, open beta, C++ client, nothing crazy. So what's next? Today we'd like to talk about our plans for third-party clients. For as long as Old School has existed, the unofficial clients and features have existed alongside it. Many of these are crafted in the player's spare time out of love and passion. However, that is not always the case. And over time, some client add-ons have become too intrusive, affecting the gameplay in, an unacceptable, in unacceptable ways and offering increasingly overpowered benefits. Let me turn down this music just a smidge. We've spoken before about it being more about being more proactive in protecting the interests of the game and acting if its health is threatened. As the owners as the game owners, we need to look both at the current situation and where things are heading. Inevitably, as time goes on, the initial boundaries we set for out for what is and not acceptable have been pushed to the limit. And at times the acceptability ha have been crossed. The acceptability, yeah. Outside of the individual client features that are essentially allowing players to cheat their way through content or enabling impossible switches in PvP and PvM alike, we are also seeing increased usage of non-approved third-party clients that readily provide easy access to bot scripts. So this is talking about, basically there's an overpour of people using uh, like Blue Light or, I, I, that's the only one I really know of, those those third-party clients that um basically cheat the system and uh, do switches for you or protect people. Uh, prayers for you, you know, all sorts, of, you know, bot scripts. They basically push the line, and some of them are just openly bot scripts on, on that you can pay for. All right, so let's continue on. Outlining and enforcing our rules is vital to protecting the integrity of the game, its economy, and its long-term health. It's clear that while our current approach has hindered the efforts of illegitimate clients and features, it is far from perfect. We need a better long-term solution that strikes the right balance between player enjoyment and game integrity. With Runelite now available in the Jagex launcher and con con conversations ongoing with other client developers such as HDOS, this is a, this is a big, big deal here, we feel like now it's the right time to make some changes. As such, going forward, the only clients permitted for use outside of the official ones are those on the approved client list. Runelite, HDOS, and OS Buddy. These are the three clients that they are allowing to be used. They, they are, these are officially legal. And because of that, we used Runelite, but yeah, HDOS has become increasingly popular, and Old School Buddy has always been popular. So that's good. These are now recognized as official clients, and you can really only play on the official Rune or the official Old School client or Runelite, HDOS, or Old School Buddy. So now there's some clear, there's a clear cut line drawn in the sand. The use of any other clients will be considered a breach of uh, T and C, which is like terms and conditions. We are not currently looking to add any additional clients to the approved client list. Okay. From today, a grace period will run until Friday, June 24th, giving players the opportunity to transition to either one of our official clients or any of the clients on the approved client list. Should players be found to be using other clients beyond this date, their accounts will be banned for two weeks. Continued infringements beyond this will result in a permanent account ban. So they're stepping, they're putting their foot down. Yeah, OS Buddy was really popular until Runelite came out, but it's still still very widely used, and it's recognized as a, a legal client. I would I, I think a lot of people still use OS Buddy. I'm not too sure. I would I would I would imagine. We will be updating our current third-party client guidelines for all approved clients. Whoa, that song just scared me. Um, we realize certain plugins and features that do not impact the integrity of the game have become popular within the community And we'd like to bring some of the most popular ones that would otherwise be prohibited to Runelite As an example, you can expect the removal of death animations coming as a plugin on Runelite in the future That's that came out today like literally just a few hours later. They dropped that that is huge Death animations not I don't want to remove them But there's also a, there's a plugin now that doesn't not only does it, you can, I don't want to remove the death animations, I want to make them so I don't have, I can click through them. 
the, the click box, there's an option to click box to make the click box disappear. I think I'm going to do that over removing the entire animation. I'd rather just remove the click box. Keep the animation. We've worked closely with various members of the community to compile a list of plugins we think you'd enjoy. Have a certain feature or plugin that you'd love to continue using that isn't currently available? Let us know. We do not wish to unfairly punish anybody, but we must take necessary action to protect the game. Thank you for working with us. We firmly believe that this is in old school's best interests. With your assistance, we can solve the issue of detrimental third-party features and focus our efforts on the improvement of our own clients, the old school team. Wow. Great. Great. Boom. So, yeah. Basically, they're just saying, we, we recognize that there's busted-ass plugins on these clients like Blue Light and these other ones that we, we don't have a lot of authorization over. So, we're going to tell you what clients you can use. And they're working hand in hand with Runelite to also, on top of it, remove death animations, which is what was a, was a major reason people use these cheat clients. They want to remove their death animations. I'm pretty sure Blue Light does that easily. So now it's like, okay, that's one thing. You know, we're working towards bettering these clients so people don't have to use cheat clients. And people that want to cheat the game are going to get banned. Basically, people that want the, the game to click for them and, like, change their prayers and switch, you know, do their one tick flicks at the right time, those guys are going to get banned. Which is good, because that's not good for the game. Removing death animations is fine, though, and they're recognizing that, and they're working hand-in-hand -hand with Runelite. This feature is already out. On top of a bunch of different features, which we're going to go into now. So, with the Jagex rules update, they, they are recognized, Runelite has recognized the guidelines have been updated. This, is, this came out two hours ago by Adam, the lead developer in Runelite. And with that being said, we now have pickpocket swap. This is huge. Pickpocket can now be swapped on all NPCs, even with the talk to options by shift clicking them and selecting swap pickpocket. This is massive, man. For people that go for like blood shards or like you pickpocket elves and prith, those are the two major ones that you're gonna be doing for a long, long time. Those are right click only options unless you use the cheat plugin up until now. Now this is a legal plugin, it's on Runelite and we are going to be enabling that on, on multiple. I'm definitely gonna be going over to where you pickpocket for blood shards and I'll be enabling that and I'll do the elves of prithness for sure. All right, as well. The next big one, removing dead NPC menus. The menu entry swapper now has a setting to remove menus for dead NPCs. This is huge. This is what we were just talking about. This prevents clicking on them while they are dying as well as casting spells. The entity hider additionally has an option to remove the NPC completely so it's no longer rendered. So this is this is completely removing the dead animation. And then in the menu entry swapper, you can at least remove the, the menu for dead NPCs, which is probably what I'm going to do. I don't want to remove the entire animation but i would like to remove the menu so now we also have a walk here swap it is now possible to swap walk here for both left click and shift click on npcs by shift right clicking them and selecting the corresponding swap option which is cool so now you have we have also um, as well as swapping our pickpockets we can swap our walk options which is pretty sweet worn item swaps this is the next one damn these are huge plugins today these are massive like these are crazy big Menus on worn items can now have both their left click and shift click options swapped, which can be configured by shift clicking them when wielded. So now, instead of having to take an item off to like rub it, you can just left click a ring and have it already, like left click the ring that you're wielding to telly. That's crazy. Like say you're wearing a, a ring of dueling, you can have an option so you can just click to your equipment. You don't have to take the ring off. You can just left click the ring in your equipment and instead of taking it off, it'll tell you, which is pretty, pretty sweet. Probably forget about that though, and you'll try to like unequip it, and you'll probably tell you a few times, but that's really, really cool. All right, next thing party system improvements. As you may have noticed, we recently updated the special attack counter plugin to show a spec drop overlay on the player when a special attack lands. This feature works with the reworked party system, which allows the spec drops to show on your party members. This is crazy. This is what I was thinking. I think I was talking about this, right? I saw that when we were doing TOB. The party system no longer requires Discord integration to send or join invites and instead uses a passphrase system. This is a lot less finicky and works more reliably when multiple clients are running. Creating a party now gives you a paraphrase, such as robe set raw purple, which you share with your friends. They need to click join party and paste the paraphrase to join. Interesting. There are also several small improvements, including inventory and chat box and now movable holding alt as you can be reset via right click. The alt key used to drag the overlay is also configurable within the Runelite settings. Cool, Karis and Partisan defense style is now currently hidden by the attack styles plugin. Another bug casting the are causing the pets icons to not show up has been fixed again. 
Minigame reset timer no longer shows if the setting is ena enabled to off. A whole bunch of them. A bug causing empty hiders. Hide pets option to not work has been fixed. Level Cox, or level Cox CM now works correctly. Ancient Brew, Mixed Potion, and other more obscure things have been added to the item stats plugin. The stamina timer now works more reliably and also with stamina mixes. The timers plugin now has a timer for Shadow Veil. The item chart does now support imbued Ring of Wealth and Bracelet of Clay. The minigame plugin now shows respawn timer for Gold Veins. The bank plugin now has an option to force right click the placeholder toggle pop button. Oh, that's pretty cool, I guess. That's nifty. Bank plugin now has an option to force right click the placeholder. I like that. The left click walk on core. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. The left click walk on core option for the Corporal Beast plugin has returned once again. Let's go. I got to enable that bitch. That looks awesome. The NPC's indicators now is an option to highlight true southwest tile and true tile. Awesome. And then a bunch of, uh, wow, uh, whew. I don't even know what the hell this is. New commits. We have 19 contributors to this update. Oh, the boys. Shout out Adam, working hard, kicking ass. All right, so that, try restarting your, um, room light maybe, Mint Jewel Pod, if you're having trouble finding it. I'm going to try and find it in a minute here, but that is basically it for the, for like the big updates today i mean it's huge it's massive look at this like people are people are like absolutely yeah look at this people are uh people are going crazy over it and i'm excited to see what is up with uh the other updates that they're coming out with you can also on top of this which they don't they don't talk about this but they i think someone on reddit mentioned it or on twitter you can now set there's a plugin on runelight it's called fps control right so I've been logged into this account for I don't know how long and it's because you can now go to FPS control you can limit your FPS and when you do that you see now my game's running fine it's in the FPS control limit right here it might be kind of hard to see FPS control if you limit your global FPS when it's focused and unfocused set both these to one and if you just click both these on like this before you go AFK like say I have to go do something now you can see my games kind of looks like it's light. It's because it's running at one frames per second My guy will not go AF my guy my account will not log out for upwards of 30 minutes I'm pretty sure instead of the usual five Which is a really cool nifty update that they didn't they didn't talk about I don't know if this was just discovered or this came with the update But yeah, if you say I'm going AFK right now, I can go AFK for 30 minutes I've been logged in this entire time haven't I don't mean, you don't have to click you don't have to dance this works really good for alts so just a little uh, a, tri a tip there. So yeah, as you can see, my FPS is literally one up here in the corner. You set the, the global FPS limit to one and this to one, and you flick both of these on. Or you can also just turn this, you can turn the whole thing on and off. It's just, you know, that's also a really good way to do it. So before you go AFK, you're just playing the game. Before you go AFK, click that real quick, and now your guy will not log out unless you're gone for like 30 minutes plus. That's how you do it. You go, it's an FPS control. Just one more little update. One more cool little nifty thing that came with the update. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching the YouTube video. Please make sure you like and subscribe and catch me live on Twitch. I'll have the link in the description. I appreciate all the support and peace out.